And what happened just over a year ago was that Reza Barati was murdered. Let's be very clear about that. I know that because I was there. I was standing on the wharf at, uh, late at night at Manus Island holding a drip. And Reza Barati was lying on the ground in front of me. And the doctors were working valiantly trying to get an airway into his throat uh, to try and give him a chance. Uh, we all knew that there was no chance. We watched and listened as they read out the oxygen saturation level off the, off the meter that they had attached to him and we listened as it dropped and dropped and dropped. And we knew that Reza Brady was going to die. That time is burnt into my brain. I can remember everything about it. I remember the sounds of the people, the other asylum seekers laying around who had been beaten, kicked and bashed. I remember the sobs of the staff, uh, Salvation Army staff and G4S staff as they were standing there holding drips and the reality of what was going on started to feed in to our brains about exactly what, how bad this was and what was happening there. The next three nights after that, um, I spent three nights in a compound called Charlie Compound looking after the 42 people that were so badly injured that um, they couldn't be moved. There was limited, very limited medical attention. People lay on mattresses on the floor in sheets that were covered in blood for three days. There was no spare sheets, there's no way to wash. People who were so scared they had soiled themselves, we had to carry them to the showers and hose them off. We had no clothes to give them. This is Australia. We did this. Our country did this. And I've been ashamed of it ever since. And I cry, and I'll probably cry tonight. I cry a lot, I cry for a number of reasons. I cry that Reza Brady was murdered. I cry that people were beaten senseless for wanting what every single one of us wants. Freedom, a decent life, they were beaten for it. And it's wrong. I cry about the fact that not enough people care. I cry that politicians have wedged the Australian people and made them think that these people are the enemy. That is shameful. We should all be ashamed of it and I hope people are called to account for it one day. I, I have no faith that PNG is ever going to go, there will be no trial for this. The only hope we have of getting justice for Reza Brady and every other person that is up there still and the people that were beaten and the people that had broken bones and eyes, lost eyes, the only hope we have is that the people that caused it are held to account. And I hope, I hope that the next time that I'm giving evidence in a public forum, it is at the Royal Commission that will be held into detention and with Australia's part in what we are doing on Manus Island, Nauru, and what we are doing to children throughout this country. I recommend for those that um, haven't done it, that you take the time to read the submissions to the Senate inquiry, to watch um, Four Corners or other shows that have done stories on this. It is up to us to change the minds of people in this country. Only then will the politicians listen. When we get enough people saying, enough is enough, this is too much, maybe then we have a chance of someone saying, taking the step of what they should be doing and saying, this cannot go on. We are better than this. I hope we are. I seriously hope we are. Because what is going on up there is terrible. People uh, should know. And it's all up to us. And I just want to congratulate groups like the um, Refugee Rights Action Network and all the people that work day in, day out, talking to people, getting the message out, because that is the only hope we get, we've got. You know, it's... I do talk to a lot of people now and what I try and say to people is they are not illegals. They are not asylum seekers. They are fathers, brothers, husbands, and on Nauru, wives, daughters, and children. They are us. This is our common humanity. We need to start changing minds. We need empathy over bigotry. We need tolerance over intolerance and we need our politicians to listen and do the right thing. Thank you very much.